hello everyone and welcome to another video today we will actually be having a bernice game one of the big things here is bernice has been getting high pick rates recently with i think I believe 3.4 percent in the top 1000 and a massive staggering 18 percent today we have amir to go over the game with how you doing today amir uh pretty good pretty good i think as you said bernice has been seeing a lot of play in the higher elos right now uh, I think with the change to Blackfire Cannon, a lot of Bernice players have been really happy to lock him in. And then we also have seen a few new items being implemented into the game. And I know that Bernice has been loving the Psyche Blade upgrade, which is the Armor Pen Arm Piece. It gives a bit of movement speed, some armor pen, some attack power. And we also saw the new Crit Chest Piece, which allows him to, I think, is probably why he's slotting armor pen into arm it allows him to swap out that crit piece that he used to be losing out on from his arm piece and uh now he's uh he's just throwing it into his chest piece yeah it's actually really interesting i'm super excited to see how this game plays out especially because i mean i know the ghillie suit's been really good tons of adc based characters have been loving it as a replacement for their crit chest piece and being able to have a little more flexibility because a lot of people really like tuxedo and tuxedo it's just a natural upgrade from tuxedo but to see this arm piece because i have not seen a lot of characters really utilizing these new arm pieces so i'm i'm interested to see what kind of impact it gives to bernice because yeah it's now his frailty with high pen going to be probably a lot of burst damage coming out as soon as he hits an explosive bowl it's probably pretty much over for anyone that was actually such a clean blink from him. Using the blink as the W comes out from the Emma, being able to just barely dodge the damage that it actually deals. And yeah, we're just gonna pump damage as our team tries to uh, follow up behind us. That's crazy to think that he actually gets away with that and gets the kill. Great performance, because yeah, like you mentioned, if he didn't dodge, I, I don't think if he dodges that W with his blink, he gets polyed and he just dies there. Yeah, and then we're also able to pick up the teammate as the the other Bernice was trying to walk forward and cut us off, but our team is able to catch him out. I think this fight might go a bit different because we don't have ult yet, but it doesn't matter. We're still able to just pump a lot of damage. And I don't think a lot of people know this about Bernice, but a decent amount of his damage is locked behind his passive as his passive limits, and I guess increases once it's maxed out, the amount of basic attack damage that he actually does with his shotgun bullet or shotgun pellets because he shoots a shotgun while he's a sniper character um each pellet does a percentage amount of his i think basic attack amp um until it's maxed out when yeah it starts dealing more than uh he starts actually dealing more basic attack damage than your average character yeah, especially because I'm pretty sure if he hits all those bullets, they actually end up doing more than what a normal attack would do. They actually end up gaining more value overall. Yeah, and then we're also able to hit the explosive bola after our Dina is able to lock someone down. I don't know if you saw his first bola onto the uh, Emma, but <laughs> yeah, it might have gone a bit wide. <laughs> it came close, it came close. But yeah, I mean, Bernice, I mean, they're already up to five kills. I mean, this has been like a bloodbath early game for for them. A lot of just like free catch outs and then like the big kind of skirmish that happened in Cemetery. Yeah, I mean, when you get games that happen like these, they're usually one of the ones that you feel a bit better going into. Uh, you get really fast and good early tempo. Uh, the team feels like they're playing well together. And the only thing that can really throw them off is a uh, fast eighth this early as we face check a bush and send ourselves to not have the best tempo because we're going to be respawning after the first objective spawn. Usually you want to respawn before so that you can get that UAV scan. But uh, yeah, we're just going to look to contest this tree and then have our Bernie spawn on top of us after, I think. Yeah, that makes the most sense is just contest here. But yeah, that's a little unfortunate, you know, that he got caught up. Random team just kind of standing there. Uh, luckily, the Lennox ha just gets to have the free 1v1 because the team doesn't get there now and Bernice joins in late. But we'll have to see how it pans out. Oh, the explosive will kind of just whiff there. Yeah, I don't think he thought that the Aiden would actually take the ult over because he had the free W onto our Bernice, but I think he just wanted to get away from him, take the ult, confirm whatever he can on that side of the fight. Also, it looks like we're just going to be trapped between two teams now and yeah, we're just going to fall down. 
trying to make sure that our team is able to get out. Yeah, a little unfortunate. Really aggressive plays, really thinking that he can take on the 1v1 against the Adriana. Uh, especially, most likely knowing Adriana just has those low cooldowns early. So much he didn't have anything up, he just needed to get close and auto attacker to get the kills. Uh, it just didn't work out that way as the other team ended up showing up and Adriana countered blink with blink. So as much as, you know, we, they're at five kills early, actually kind of a rough start for them. So we'll have to see uh, what he does to try and catch up going for probably that quick buy here, get that power spike as soon as he can. Yeah, I wonder what the first buy is, because we can slam either our chest piece, which it looks like we have the materials for, or we can go mithril, um, which I assume is going to go into weapon because we already have one of the sniper rifles in our inventory. Yeah. Um, and it, I assume that he does go uh, intervention because we are already on a pen at headpiece and Psyche's Blade is the big pick for a lot of Bernice players right now. So, yeah, and it's going to be intervention. Yeah, I was going to say his only other option would have been Twilight for the headpiece for more pen. But I think right now, at least, um, a lot of Bernice players just really, really like 100% crit rate or near 100% because the double auto attack is very massive towards this tier right now. And guaranteeing that, not having to have any chance of, you know, just an unlucky hit, not getting that crit would definitely matter a lot. Yeah, being able to just walk into a, an ADC's face, double hit them, double hit them again, double hit them again and just never miss out on that possible double is a very different, a very big difference in uh, in damage output. But yeah, we're going to see him backing up, trying to hit the bullet. Sadly, it's going to be another one that goes a bit wide. Yeah, I, um, but I think I think it's also important to see. Sure, he's not landing these, but it's important to throw it. Uh, it's such a powerful ability that holding it is actually sometimes the worst option that you can have. So even yeah, though he's missing these, fights, I think it matters to try and try and hit them. For a lot of fights, it will just be more important that you at least threw the ability out because you're not losing out on anything when you throw out a, a, an explosive bola. You're not actively affecting your team or assisting the enemy team. You're just sadly missing an ability. No, for sure. Because I, I just know that there's definitely been times where uh, Bernice's hold a little bit too long on the explosive bola. And if they had actually thrown it and landed it, it could be a game changer for a fight. But I think I think it's important to all to really just recognize. Yeah, don't don't be scared to to use it. Obviously, having the best hit is always important, but landing that can can really change the fight especially initiating a fight with explosive bola is really good because as you auto attack you actually lower the cooldown of it because he's already got it back like his explosive bola yeah. is ready to go again uh a big thing is that with bernice e or i guess w as well when you apply a mark to someone with his e or w uh auto attacking them reduces all of your ability cooldowns including your ult which is very very annoying to fight because there will just be fights where you're playing tank into bernice and he can't kill you but you can't kill him but he's just spamming infinite abilities because he's allowed to auto attack you for 30 seconds straight and now his ult is back up yeah and i think that's one of the things that um some people might not necessarily inherently realize is the fact that you're you can get your explosive bullet back so quickly if you're like farming camps account, right? If you trap the mobs or you use your um, your E on them, that does mark them, which allows you to be able to get your cooldowns back while you're traveling to the next fight. So really, really, really useful way. It actually used to be even stronger. Bernice's used to be able to get their ultimate back way quicker. Uh, I believe last season it ended up getting nerfed and reduced uh, making it so now it has less effectiveness, but you can still get it pretty much once every fight. Yeah, and I'll be honest, I didn't see too much Bernice last season. Oh, we're going to be looking for a pick while our Lennox is gone, but yeah, it doesn't connect, which I think is actually a good thing because we might have fallen on the floor if we didn't try and go for that fight. Yeah, I think Bernice didn't want to go for because I think you would have wanted Bernice to initiate with the explosive bullet if you felt like that was a fight you wanted to take. Yeah, because our explosive bullet is a lot less easy to react to at this with the speed that it comes out and the lead line lane is just going forward blinking past our team for us and another bola misses crazy. unfortunately as it went past him 
<laughs> you know, bolas might not be our our best ability on this uh, on this character sometimes. All we need to do is auto attack them really hard. Yeah, and Bernice trying like to that. like trying to play that like that spacing, you know, has to play closer than normal. But yeah, trying to make sure like he's not getting completely wailed out of the fight. Yeah, uh, I was gonna think, say that I think I like I really like the fact that as Bernice, we're just walking up with our lead or not lead Dylan Lennox, um, trying to pressure the lead Dylan, and then the second we see her blink at us, we're trying to make sure that we get the bola out. We try and make sure that we're just pumping damage into her, and we're just griefing our timer to make sure that this Dylan doesn't actually get to escape. Our Lennox needs to get out because she's actually gonna blow up before, but yeah, we're gonna get the kill and get a bit more timer back yeah i mean but, timer back exterminate that's pretty good here i mean overall for the team yeah we're now eight field kills with 11 team kills it's uh it's a game that's looking pretty good for us we also have a decent amount of credits so we should look, probably look to buy sometime soon we have the chapel cons kiosk we can get that up and i wonder if we're gonna grab this green axe or if we get meteorite for boots maybe we drop the psyche's blade here I'm hoping to see the Psyche's Blade, but I'm not sure how of an importance it is. Because, I mean, his arm piece is very, uh, very useful. Like, Vital Sign is really nice on Bernice, so it's, it'll be interesting to see. So we go another Mithril, so that's going to be the, the headpiece, correct? So it's going to have to be Twilight? Uh, no, I assume it's the Psyche's Blade, because we have the Nail as well, which is the oh. crafting material for it. And, yeah, I think we're getting this out because with three crit items, we are 100% crit, and I think transitioning into another crit item would overcap us and crit by a decent amount so if we slammed another like if we slammed our chest piece i think we'd be overcapped by like 12 percent or something it's uh yeah we'd be just a bit too far over a bit of unwasted stats or a bit of wasted stats and oh actually we get another mithril yeah so you we got the mithril i think off the of the here. pair yeah so this should be a pretty good slam into our head, I think. Yeah, he's grabbing the hat here, and then I assume just calling the scissors. Yeah, there we go. We get the pen headpiece. We have a decent amount of pen, a lot of crit. Like, we can get our double auto attacks off. We have a lot of attack power as well, being almost 350, and we're only level 17. Yeah, 350, and then on top of that, I mean, what, we got 25 flat armor pen plus frailty of being applied? Yeah, like, we have a lot of damage. Like, we are just a walking cannon at this point. And I believe he'll go back up to 100% once he gets his last two upgrades, increasing his crit chance. Just the final bits that he'll need to get the push. For Until then, though, he's at 82%. I think he might actually be stuck at 99% if he gets his upgrades, if I recall, because will be 33% from weapon, 33% from the chest piece, and 33% from boots. So if we miss a crit one time, that'll be very unfortunate. And sometimes that one crit is what matters. I, I guarantee if that is the case, this guy plays the game sometimes and will just be like, I swear that should have killed and goes back, watches it, and it wasn't a crit, and he's just <laughs> he's gonna lose it. <laughs> yep. With a 99% crit chance and then missing that one crit, the, the game just feels so bad. Especially on Bernice when the crit matters a lot to hitting you, giving you that double auto attack. Right, but I do believe, I mean, the fact that like we're getting, yeah, we might be losing this 1% crit if it's true there, it's gonna be 99%. Uh, we're gaining so much flat attack power and 10 that maybe it's just worth it at the end of the day versus like some of these other builds that we've seen Bernice normally run towards like radar. I do think that compared to the other Bernice builds, this one allows us to pump a lot more damage out. Um, we're able to switch off of going any sort of very awkward chess piece in either Spectre overcapping our crit uh, or I think we might have been running beautiful garment last patch. I think um which to me overcaps our attack speed by a bit too much and what we were also running a bit of gpnvg because it is a crit headpiece it's alternative to to uh what is the 
crystal tiara um or fallen sorry fall, fallen pegasus upgrade um which a lot of people haven't really been enjoying too much lately which is why i assume we're going a pen headpiece instead yeah plus uh, it also double dips with the other with our pen arm piece uh what what but what you're telling me though is is that this is mathematically correct for nice is what i'm hearing yeah this seems like the most well almost mathematically correct bernice if we ever see a one percent crit change to any of these items going up then this will be mathematically correct bernice as we will be a hundred percent crit as well until then 99 percent crit chance i can never call it mathematically correct unfortunate so we'll have to we'll have to wait and see if we can if we can get to that next stage of it we got this interesting uh showdown here for wick line trying to see the aura just barely not aggering that wick line that would have been actually really funny if the wick or if the chickens forced us to walk into the wick trail and then or oh actually wait we're gonna pull wick anyways we just want to make sure that the other team doesn't have the chance to to start hitting her yeah, if, I mean, if the other team got to pull it, it definitely gave them a good advantage to keep it on their side safely. So it was a good attempt, but they're not going to be able to stop it. This is a really good choke and a good Lennox pull. Oh, and oh, yeah, Lennox is able to land. get it. The Bola connects, but it doesn't look like we're looking for anything too big. Well, Just Bern pick up the blood, take the wick. Yeah, I mean, Bernice looked. Bl Bernice actually, like, I think, blinked forward there. Did he not? He went really aggressive, tried to put a bunch of pressure. Uh, it's just his team wasn't ready for that kind of play. Yeah, I think most people in that situation are just looking to get wait, get out. No one's looking to take a big fight, but I would have loved to see, especially after that bullet connected, I would have loved to see something a bit more aggressive. Walk up, look for the Lennox hook. Might have been on cooldown still, but I think it should have been coming up. Um, Worst case, we could have played the inwards. Yeah, we, like, we had the opportunity to go forward, but it was a very like out of the moment or in the moment to just like out of nowhere opportunity that we had well i think that is actually the second bola of the game that bernice has hit so he might have been a bit excited <laughs> to land <laughs> land, his, land his shot yeah i mean bernice bola isn't the easiest ability to hit sometimes i see players say you know my bernice is missing like 50 percent of his bolas I'm just happy that he's hitting 50% of his bolas. Yeah, exactly. Because as we've seen, this Bernice, who I think is currently the rank one Bernice in the world, or, or he is at least, he's very high up there. Um, yeah, he is, uh, he's not hitting too many bolas, but it doesn't matter as the rest of your kit is still very useful. And a lot of what Bernice does is just pump damage into enemy, the enemy team. Exactly. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Landing bullet is incredible. It's a game-changing like play. Like landing a good explosive bullet can instantly win you the fight. But if you play it properly and you play around the rest of your kit, like I mean, you mentioned, I mean, you don't need to worry about it. like missing bola is not the end of the world. You'll have it back. Yeah, and it looks like we are actually getting surrounded. This is a very scary fight to maneuver. But yeah we're just we're able to actually live so much longer than we should have which allows our team to just take the rest of the fight and i think this should be a good win for them yep getting the terminate out getting the revive it's not too much of a loss other than losing the wick buff on our bernice but it shouldn't matter too much no especially because like i mean as soon as they both dove in that explosive bola bouncing between the two melees uh really helped bernice be able to just create that space and i mean yeah, he dropped down there, but I'm pretty sure he, he was the one that was chunking everyone, doing so much damage to to them both while also running away. Yeah, it's uh, it was also kind of massive that Bernice was the sole target from all three players, and he was able to live, deal damage, and and just start getting out, forcing them to chase even further, meaning that. He was just able to give his team so much opportunity, so many opportunities to start doing more for for him and actually allowing them to take the fight and win it. No, for sure. And also, can we talk about mathematically correct uh, Bernice here? It's 375 attack power, 99% crit. That is some yeah. crazy stats, though. Unfortunate that he's missing the 1%. Sadly, the 1% of, uh, of crit that he is missing means that this build does still have a hint of RNG lying behind that 1% of missing the crit, but that should happen 
nearly never because of how crit works in this game. But the one time it does happen, I think every Bernice player will be crying. For sure. But I do actually really like the the idea and the intent of this build, uh, especially working around armor and trying to just shred armor from targets, making him effective at dealing with mostly squishies. Like squishies are definitely his, his strong suit, but he can still get rid of like bruisers and tanks uh, for the fact that he is able to shred through some armor. Yeah, I also noticed he's running stopping power on top of all of this, which means that he is he is removing as much armor as possible from a lot of these teams. And it looks like we're actually going to get a Bernice versus Bernice for the final zone. How strong is this character to have two Bernices show up here in the finals? Bernice is guaranteed first, no matter what. But I wonder what we're going to see because we do have an Emma who, in my opinion, is very annoying to fight uh, for as Bernice. Uh... But it doesn't matter because it doesn't look like Emma is a character anymore. Gets the hook and he's just on the floor. Our Bola sadly does not connect again, but it doesn't matter at this point. Everyone is just on the floor. We're able to pump so much damage and that was such a clean game coming out from him. Yeah, I mean, again, this is a great example. I, I like when we get games like these because this is an example of this Bernice did not have the best start in the world. He had some troubles going through some of the early game. He even missed some, some Bolas. But he still showed that if you play it well and you play how you're to your strong suits, you can still dominate the game.